एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू लर्निंग ब्रिज आई होप यू गर्ज आर डूंग गुड एंड स्टेइंग सेफ सो आई एम बैक विद अनदर अमेजिंग एंड रियल इन्फॉर्मेटिव वीडियो रिलेटेड टू दी एस क्यू एल इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड टूडे आई विल टॉक अबाउट एस क्यू एल क्वेश्चन विच वॉज आस्क बाय दी पेटीएम इंटरव्यूअर वेन आई वॉज इंटरव्यूंग देर फॉर दी डेटा इंजीनियर रोल एंड प्रीवियसली आई हैव क्रिएटेड टू सिमिलर काइंड ऑफ वीडियोज वन फॉर दी एस क्यू एल इंटरव्यू इन दी ऊबर सेकंड फॉर दी एस क्यू एल इंटरव्यू इन दी एमेजॉन सो इफ यू आर न्यू टू माई चैनल एंड वॉचिंग एनी ऑफ माई वीडियो फॉर दी वेरी फर्स्ट टाइम गो एंड क्विकली चेक आउट दो वीडियोज देर आई सॉल्व दो एक्जैक्ट क्वेश्चन विच वर आस्क टू मी इन दी इंटरव्यूज विद दी सोल्यूशन एंड अमेजिंग कंसेप्ट एज वेल टू डेज क्वेश्चन इज एक्चुअली रिलेटेड to the joint operation in the sql which is really really important from the interview perspective as well and not only the simple joint operation because something tricky with the data values as well which we need to solve in this question so make sure you watch this one till the very end amazing thing to learn this will definitely help you in your upcoming interviews because you never know you might face the similar question in your interviews as well and there is one funny story related to this interview experience i'll definitely tell you in the later point of time and like this video in really really big numbers so that other folks can also learn these kind of amazing concepts and if you think in your surrounding there is someone who is quite weak in the sql and want to move into the data analytics role please share this video with them this will be really helpful for them and if you are new to my channel and haven't subscribed it yet make sure to hit the subscribe button right now and press the notification icon and thanks to crowd.do for sponsoring this video crowd.do is a kind of platform which actually believes in learning by doing so if you are someone who want to crack some top notch product based companies for different job profiles like front end development back end development full stack development and you are lacking in the technical skills and didn't get any chance to work on real world projects then this should be the go to resource for you so crowd.do is actually helping students and working professionals to acquire latest tech skills by working on real world projects which are actually created by the companies itself so here you can see some amazing stats 93 percentage placement average ctc of 11 lpa average super dream job ctc 22 lpa 240 plus hiring partners are available here so here you can see all those folks who actually enrolled themselves on cry.do platform and landed into their dream job free trial is available for everything you can get the free trial and when you are satisfied then you can enroll here and also i have provided one special link in the video description make sure to check that out you will be getting some exclusive and amazing offers there and here is the small glimpse of real world kind of projects which will be working on in the cry.do like building netflix kind of ott platform back end development for the zomato application building a google news like app front end development for the airbnb application entire detail is mentioned here including the duration tech stack and the kind of projects will be working here full stack development program back end development program and similarly there are two amazing very extensive and job guaranteed programs as well fellowship program in software development masters program in qa automation after completing these programs there will be a placement guarantee which is the best part of it and as soon as you will click on the link which i have provided in the video description you will be landed on this home page where you will receive a special gift from my side and as soon as you will unlock it you can use the promo code to get the extra discount plus scholarship free guide to product based company interviews free guide to best resumes and free guide to mini projects for example like online whiteboard complete information the skills concept tech stack needed duration and references as well you can definitely create it and another interesting mini project is emotion based music player so use the link which is in the description use the promo code and enroll yourself in cryo program so this was the actual question along with the data set and this was again asked by the ptm interviewer when i was interviewing for the data engineer role so first i will explain this entire problem statement the outcome and the data set we are given here and again i would request you all especially who are new to sql as soon as i explain the problem statement data set result everything please don't jump on to the final time stamp where i am explaining the approach make sure you pause this video just take your pen and paper and try to solve this question by your own again it would be really really helpful for your logical thinking ability and then after that you can compare your solution with my solution so the problem statement was that there will be two tables given table a table b both will have one column exactly uh, that will be of integer type and it can accept the null values as well so here you can see these values uh, for the column a and don't get confused this is not a string type written null it is a null like which is defined in the sql right so the problem statement was that perform the join operation on these two table right using the column a column b that means column a will be joined with the column b and after the inner join operation try to print the total number of rows which we will be getting after the join operation and as soon as you will listen this problem it will look very very simple that this is very very basic question right i need to just do a join operation and do the simple count and i'm done with the answer and that is the catch here right that is the interesting part of this entire question and that interesting part that hidden part of this entire question won't be revealed by the interviewer 
here your common sense your understanding of the data analytics will come into the picture and that is the core part of this question and the answer as well so if we go ahead with our very very basic understanding of inner join operation so how we will be doing it i will write a query for that we will look at the output and we'll try to analyze that what kind of mistake we will do and what kind of question we actually need to ask the interviewer inner join operation on these two column column a column b so based on the definition of inner join how it will work if there is a complete match for any value in the column a and column b only those will be considered in the final result apart from that whatever is there that will be discarded and won't be included in the final result because there is a no match available for that right so simply let me write a query for that and we will see the output how it looks like so select start from table a inner join table b on condition on will be table a dot column a equals to table b dot column b right so if we execute this query we can see this result so as per our problem statement our answer would be total number of rows will be three so let's check how we are getting this output so for one this is present in column a but there is no match uh, for this one in the column b that means that is not going to be included in the final result for value 2 in the column a there is only one match available uh, in the column b that is why only one row has included here this satisfies the condition for value 5 right this is present one time in the column a but this is present twice in the column b so inner join obviously first time this 5 will be compared with this one and condition satisfied that's why it is here second time this 5 will be compared with this one condition satisfied that is why it is here right so that is the main reason we are getting these three rows in the final outcome and this is the catch here and this is the main part to understand that why this null didn't get joined with this null because this seems very similar to 5 right 5 is here 5 5 is here they got matched why this null didn't get joined with null right this looks similar but the technical definition is that whenever we say that there is a null value in any column so null means nothing it don't have any kind of shape it don't have any kind of data type it don't have any kind of default value so that means if we have two different type of nulls one can be of a different type and another can be a different type but never ever they will be of something like a similar so that is the prime reason that these values are actually not included here so here comes the very interesting and very important concept of this entire video that is understanding of the null safe join and that was the one thing i was telling you it is all about your common sense and the understanding of the data because as soon as someone will have a look at these two tables and this problem statement sometimes definitely it can be very straightforward and very easy but there should be doubt right what i am supposed to do with these null values because they are present here and somehow i need to perform a join so this should be your direct question to the interviewer and that question should be like do i need to take care of these null values explicitly how do you want me to present the result do i need to consider it in the join operation or not you need to ask this question and same thing i did and once the interviewer confirmed it then i was actually writing the exact solution i will be presenting two different approaches right one with a typical operator that operator you can straight forward in your query and you will be getting the final result another solution is quite logical right you just need to think logically with the existing operators and you can get the final result so i will write those things first the logical approach uh, without any explicit operator and all how basically we can do it logically so this condition right when we executed this part we got this result right so so far till this point we will be good because these will be there in the final result for sure so how we can explicitly handle the null values and try to make it get joined together so how can we actually do it and for that answer is we can definitely play around this on condition which is being used by the uh, join operator so here after this condition we will put one or statement right e and what this or condition represent like this condition gets true here that means these rows will be included here for sure but apart from that we can explicitly handle these null value joins in this or condition so how it will be we just need to write some logical stuff that is table a is null that means we will be getting true or false if this particular value is null similarly this thing 
is null right so what is happening here if this is true we will be getting these rows let's say when this null is getting uh, matched with this null this condition will get false we will come into this or part right so here what is being checked if this column value particular column value is null and yes we know this is null so here we will be getting the true right binary true and false and similarly for this value this is also null uh, we are checking it with the help of is null operation so we will again get the true here true and true will end up with the true that means this entire condition will get satisfied and we will be able to see null in our final outcomes as well after the join operation right so let me execute this query and look at the output result so that's what i was talking about here you can see the result now we have nulls as well in our final output after the inner join operation and that was the exact number this five like the total count of five was the correct answer which i had to tell the interviewer so that was the first solution the logical one but if we don't want to do that there is a very straightforward way like one operator is available there we can use it and that operator is actually known as null save joint operator and we can write it in this fashion so this is the symbol for the uh, null save joint operator in the mysql so if i quickly execute it we can see the similar result here right so that was about the null save joint operation that's what i had for you guys in this video i'm pretty sure you would have enjoyed this one the concept which i have talked about related to null save joint and i'm pretty sure you have taken the notes as well these are the some uh, secret questions like which i'm trying to share with you in different different videos whatever i have faced in different interviews in the product based companies and if you liked it and you find it informative then make sure to like it in the big numbers it can reach to maximum number of folks and share this video with those folks who are not that good in the SQL and they are trying to learn it and if you are watching any of my video for the very first time make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the notification icon and there was one funny incident related to this concept as well or you can say this interview question so when I was preparing for the data engineer interview at Paytm and just before my interviews like two days back I got to know about this concept while going through with one stack workflow article and when interviewer asked this question honestly speaking inside I was laughing so hard that Two days back I got to know about this concept and today the interviewer is asking same question so you never know today I have explained this to you maybe in your future interviews you might find the same question there as well and if it happens then please come back and make sure you put it in the comment section I'll be really happy that I was able to help you and let me know if you also had the same kind of experience you just read something even a day before or something like that and same thing was asked by the interviewers if you had any kind of experience put it in the comment section so I will see you guys in the next week till then just stay safe stay home take care of yourself and your family